I guess I saw this Oracle deck based on the 72 Angels of the Shem Ham Meforash uh, a few years ago, uh, at least a couple of years ago, on Kickstarter. And I was very interested at the time, um, but I was, yeah, I was out of funds. <laughs> uh, I did not back the Kickstarter, but then I was kicking myself uh, ever since for not actually picking it up. And when I discovered that there was a possibility for a late pledge. I was obviously delighted. And then I realized that actually it was a, a an Etsy page. And Frater Setnak, it turns out, is probably one of the most prolific Etsy uh, um, uh, stores <laughs> that that's um, uh, producing occult materials and esoteric materials on Etsy. Uh, and uh, so I, I yeah, I, I finally put the funds together. I uh, uh, grabbed the 72 Angel cards plus the coins, which I'll show you in a moment. They're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and then I reached out to Frater Setnak and said to him, listen, uh, I'm Foolish Fish. Would you like me to show your stuff on Etsy? And he really kind me, kindly sent me a whole load of other stuff, which I will show you as well. First of all, let me focus a little bit in on the cards themselves, which are really nice, big, large size, right? They, um, uh, they're, they're definitely larger than your normal uh, tarot deck size. And so you've got 72 of these cards and they are exactly what you would want from these cards, right? There's, there's, there's no um, uh, artistic rendition of these angels, which are, uh, well, they're, they're, they don't have an artistic rendition. Uh, I've reviewed another deck called the Angel Tarot, I think that, that's what it's called, um, uh, where there are different pictures, different artistic renditions given for each angel. Uh, that's... Uh, that's not what these angels have been attributed to. What these angels have been attributed is sig sigils, right? Uh, sigilli. And those sigils are visible on the card. And there are 72 coins, which you can get in gold or you can get in silver. Uh, and look at look how cool this is. Uh, and so for each angel, there is... Uh, there is one of these coins with its sigil on one side and on the other its name in a Latin font uh, and then in the Hebrew over here and then in, um, yeah, uh, I, I'm afraid I, I forget which particular script this one is. Uh, it's some celestial script. Uh, it's a prototype of Hebrew. There we are. So what's really nice is to to actually um you know dip your hand in the bag. It's quite a it's quite a nice bag. It's um it seems to be faux leather with this kind of gold stamp on it. And it's really quite nice dipping in and picking out a random a random coin and finding its equivalent card and uh, seeing how it relates to you in the particular moment, right? Very, very nice. So yes, on the card, it's, there's just so much information. So it gives you information about the angel itself and its um, abilities. Okay. And then on the back, it gives you its correspondences. So uh, which which choir it belongs to, Sephirah, of course, Governing Archangel, Tarot card uh, equivalent, Chaldean sign, and then the element and its mod modality. And then there are the influence times and dates. Each of these is supposed to govern over a particular time of the day, a particular um, uh, a particular date, right, or a set of dates. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, and you can find out which angel governs over your birthday um, uh, and time. Uh, and uh, there's it comes with this this booklet which um 
which is really nice. Gives you a method of meditation for actually uh, evoking the angel itself. It's a it's a nice um, uh, trance state inducing meditation. It's very lovely. Um, yeah, the full the full working here on how to how to uh, work out your 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 three guardian angels, as it were. Um, or at least the three Shemahamafura angels that are directly linked to you naturally. Uh, and then there are further methods for um, for if uh, if there's a particular angel that you would like to call on, which is not um, directly attributed to. And how to do that? Of course, plenty of charts to uh, to work out particular dates and and times. It's generally really really nice. I I'm I'm impressed about pretty much every aspect of this. Uh, the 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 coins feel great to to play with. Obviously they are. Uh, I mean my assumption is that the um, the color here is. Uh, is is painted on although there's no evidence that the um, metal underneath here would be anything other than gold it's possible that it would be but as i say there's no evidence of that they're kind of um uh, uh, fake aged right uh, it's possible that it would be nicer if they weren't but on the other hand you would definitely not see the sigils as well uh, if they weren't fake aged, right, with that kind of black wash uh, as a background, so that that sigil really pops, right? Yeah, I'm really, really satisfied. The cards themselves um, are are really nice. They're wax waxy, right? They uh, they feel like they you could easily wipe them down with a with a damp cloth without. Uh, uh, them suffering at all. They're of they're a, a nice thickness, yeah, as you can see right there. Yeah, really sturdy cards. Um, the inf the information is exactly what you'd want. Nothing more, nothing less. And yep, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, yep, yeah, the whole thing comes in this box and let me just show you the bottom of the box just to give you an idea of what kind of attention to quality and detail there is here. So so your 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 pack of cards and your your coins are always resting on this really thick bed of um of uh, of, of of black foam. It's, it's yeah, super. Now, what else can I show you? So that that that's um uh, there are three options I think. You can get just the cards themselves, you can get the cards and the coins, or you can get uh, the cards and the coins and this mat. Now this mat, uh, uh, so it's described down here as uh, as uh, the, the 72 names of God, Athanasius Kircher, Oedipus Egyptiacus, Egypt I beg your pardon, 1654. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's a pattern that I'm familiar with, but I, I'm, I'm afraid I, I don't know very much about it. Um, my understanding was that it was, uh, it was a, a, a manuscript based in, in, in the Bibliothèque Nationale in, in, in Paris. Uh, I might be wrong uh, on that. Literally, I, I don't know enough about this to really be able to talk about it with any kind of um, of authority. However, what I can tell you is that the material that it's printed on is is great. I mean, it's this it's this canvas, right? It it f rolls up on the sides a little bit. Um, but as you can see, uh, for, for the rest, it just lies it just lies flat. Right. I've had this rolled up um, in the in the opposite direction actually I've had it rolled up like this and it um, it, it just lies flat when, when you put it down on the table which is which is super um, yeah I mean there's obviously there's lots to to discover on this right um, the, the 12 central um, uh, 
directions and and then those being divided um, into uh, into the 72 um, names of God and yeah it's very cool with with presumably uh, these would be the um, uh, the the Shem Hamefarash uh, names of the angels simply uh, right up there you know that uh, those angel names are actually made of three letters uh, from a particular section from uh, from Exodus with the first line and the second line and the third line of Exodus or oh, is it Exodus 14 I, I can't remember exactly um, uh, being read um, right to left and left to right and, and right to left again and then making three um, <clears throat> so three three rows and reading in the columns what the 72 names of God would actually be there we go let me show you what else uh, do we have here so um uh, yeah i got this out obviously because it's directly related um if you enjoy the 72 angels of magic i would say that this is a, a perfect companion for that right for for the, the, the workings were which are in the 72 angels of magic by J damon brand although obviously uh the this system's own working uh, is is available right here right let's have a quick look at what else we have so there, there there seem to be lots of different styles of printings so this is a this is a a really nice bar relief uh, i i uh, again i'm unable to tell you uh, which particular one this is it seems this seems Mesopotamian <laughs> Uh, of of some description. Once again, this one is on um, on canvas. It's quite a nice thing. I can imagine that would look quite nice, framed. Um, uh, this lovely uh, card, uh, which uh, yeah, again would look quite nice framed. Looks quite nice the way it is actually, and and then this one seems to be printed on handmade paper uh, we've got the tree of life there seems to be a, a lurianic tree of life very cool very beautiful and we've got the, um, the sumerian anunnaki the tree of the Sumerian tree of life in the center there. A nice little um, text <laughs> on the back with the with the with the cuneiform and the the, the the pronunciation and then the English translation underneath. And then we've got these two lovely cards, which are so nice. Um, we've got the um, alchemical, well, well recognized alchemical symbols there. An extract from the Hermetica, the Greek Corpus Hermeticum. And da, da, da. Yeah. Very nice. And then another one over here. Very beautiful. So this is, yeah, it's kind of silver and um, just a really nice thing to have. Um, I know that Frater Setnak is is uh, quite well known for adding little little gifts, but this really was going way way beyond uh, what was what was necessary. Or or uh, um, uh, yeah. Anyway, it's certainly very very much appreciated. It's uh, the little vitriol um, uh, sigil there. 
which he seems to have taken on as uh, as a as a personal signifier. Right, if you go to his website, uh, oh, yeah, this this appears quite a lot there. And then this is a, um, a pendant, yeah, with uh, with the specific um, name of uh, uh, Hamia, which is one of the one of the seventy two Shemhamma for our angels. Just to give you an idea of what that would look like if you wish to pick up a pendant from his store. There we are. So what a lot of goodies. Thank you so, so much, Fatah Seknak. That was really very, very kind. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> really, really, I'm very, 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 uh, very touched. Um, yeah, this, this is, uh, this is a, a delight, an absolute delight. And I'll be using these for, uh, for actual workings, right, for actual um, uh, meditation and, um, and 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 um, for facilitating facilitating communication directly with these seventy two angels. There we are. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that there was uh, at least some interesting stuff for you there. I hope um, uh, that yeah. Do, do, of course, the uh, details of how to get to Frater Setnax um, Etsy store will be down in the description. Don't hesitate to go over there, check out all his, all of his stuff. There's so much really nice stuff there. Uh, I I believe that he's in fact got a couple of um, printings of. Oh, he's got so many printings. I'll just let you <laughs> go and check them out. Um, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. See you very soon with another video. Bye bye.